question 5A on the average. Okay, keyword average eh. Ha, jadi kita boleh ha, decide dah kata soalan ni akan melibatkan Poisson distribution. Okay, night customer arrive at the petrol station between 2 and 3 p.m. Okay, ha, dia dah ada time interval on a particular day. Okay, then we want to find the probability. Okay, kita keluarkan dulu. Ha, what is your X? Okay, your X is a number of customers arrive at petrol station. Okay, in a particular time. Okay, ha, yang ni pun definition secara umum. Ha, jadi yang dia bagi ni 5 customer between okay, between 2 and 3 pm. Ha, jadi jangka masa dia adalah 1 jam. Okay, so 1 hour. Okay, your lambda is 9. Okay, 9 customer. So kalau ikut yang original dia, okay, Poisson distribution 9. Okay, ha, this one is given from the question. Okay, kita tengok dia punya soalan yang dia nak kita cari tu. Okay, probability that 6 to 8 customer. Okay, arrive at the petrol station between 2.15 and 2.35 pm in a particular day. Ha, so, kat sini kita boleh dah nampak dah. Okay, ha, masa dia bukan lagi 1 jam. Okay, 2.15 sampai 2.35 pm ni ha, berapa minit? Okay, ha, so kalau ikut tu berapa minit? 20 minit. Okay. Ha, so, kita nak 20 minit. Okay. 20 minutes. Okay. Berapa lambda dia? Okay. Ha, so, 60 minit untuk lambda 9. Ha, berapa untuk 1 minit? Okay. So, if 1 minutes, okay, the lambda is 9 over 16 or 3 over 20. Ha, jadi, sekarang kita nak proceed untuk 20 minit. So, lambda is Kita ambil yang 1 minit, 3 over 20, multiply with 20. Okay, so you'll get 3. So the new Poisson distribution, okay, with lambda 3. Okay, jadi kita proceed and then not to probability 6 to 8. Okay, ada equal ya, eh? sebab dia from, okay, 6 to 8. Kita nak baca table. So, kita ambil, ok, dia start daripada 6. Ok, minus yang kita tak nak adalah 10. Ok, refer your table. So, 0 0.0839 minus with 0 0.0038. The last answer is 0 0.0801. Ok, let's proceed for question B. Okay, kat sini dah clear. Okay, dia dah cakap. Okay, a random variable X is distributed normally. Ha, jadi, kita dah tahu dah dia adalah normal. Okay, with mean. Okay, and standard deviation. Mean and. Okay, symbol the mu and for respectively. Okay, kita keluarkan. Okay, normal distribution. So, X. Okay, distribute to normal is mean. Okay, your variant is 4 square. Okay, ni kita punya taburan normal. Okay, kita nak cari. Okay, mean. Ha, kita boleh keluarkan maklumat yang dia bagi tu. Ha, Px besar daripada 45 sama dengan 0.1056. Jadi, ha, macam biasa untuk normal ni kita kena standardize. Okay, jangan lupa standardize. So, 45 minus mean. Divide by standard deviation 4. Ha, jadi, ha, kalau ikut tu, ha, kalau kita lukis bell shape, ok, untuk Z, 0 di tengah dan kawasan 0.1056 adalah di sebelah kanan. Ok, ha, so yang ni 0 0.1056. Ha, jadi, maksudnya kita boleh baca terus lah kat table. Ok, kita boleh rujuk table. So, from table, okay, from table, okay, PZ is greater than, okay, 1.25, okay, untuk dapatkan uh, nilai 0.1056. Okay, we compare these two values, okay, to get the value of mean. 45 minus mean, 
over 4 equals to 1.25. Okay, calculate the value of, of mean. So, you should get mean equals to 40. Kita boleh tulis dah. Okay, normal yang lengkap. Okay, normal distribution yang lengkap. So, 40. Okay, 4 square or 16. So, soalan yang seterusnya, dia nak kita cari probability x less than 32. P x less than 32. Kita standardizekan dia. So, z less than 32 minus min kita dah dapat tadi. Divide with 4. What is your value of z? Your z is negative 2. Uh, so, untuk this one, kalau kita lukis bell shape dia, uh, bell shape ni uh, untuk membantu eh, uh, untuk membantu kita nak tentukan operasi. Boleh baca terus ke, okay, kena reflect ataupun uh, dan sebagainya. Okay, so less than negative 2. Negative 2 dekat sini. Okay, ni kawasannya. Okay, less than negative 2. Okay, negative tak ada dekat table. Okay, so kita kena reflect dia supaya dia duduk di sebelah kanan dan positif. Okay, so PZ greater than 2. Ha, refer your table, you should get 0.0228.